My name is Mirna Yusuf. I'm a second year Master of Occupational Therapy student and I was born and raised in West Philadelphia. I've been working on this so that I could encourage people to go into the profession of OT, especially people of underrepresented backgrounds. And then I also like to educate people about the importance of cultural diversity and practicing cultural humility. This essentially is for OT students, OT practitioners, people in the Bengali community, but also to be used as a resource by everyone to educate and learn more about OT. So I started my Instagram page for fun actually and to document my OT journey. So I like to post about my experiences in OT school, about classes, volunteering, or the kind of work that I'm doing on field work or projects that I'm doing in class. A lot of people really resonated with the work that I was doing and what I was sharing. People were asking questions. A lot of people shared their experiences with me. My page is essentially my own lived experiences, my lived experiences as a South Asian, as a practicing Muslim, as someone who is from an underrepresented background, pursuing OT. So a lot of people who are from underrepresented backgrounds who want to go into OT, they really resonate with the work that I do in terms of sharing my experiences. I came up with the idea of doing hijab tutorials because I, I realized like, you know, this is something that I do every day. I have the platform, so I use it for people who are already doing OT. Like that's a good resource for them to have if they ever come across a client or a patient that, you know, for, for them, headwear is important for them. These opportunities help me realize that there's so much that you can do as a student. So oftentimes we as students feel limited to the classroom. And of course, I never thought that I would be on podcasts or panels or doing any of this work. Something that I started out of my own passion. It just gave me all these opportunities to connect with other people. It's motivated me to see that like, you know, as a student, I'm already doing this much. How much more can I do when I'm actually practicing as a clinician? It's easy to sit in our bubbles of comfort and you know sit with what's familiar, but I think it's very empowering and also brave to like step out of what's not familiar and you know force yourself to like do the work to make sure that everybody feels welcomed and everybody feels heard and accepted and understood. Mm -hmm.